This is the first test of the weedinator actually doing some weeding and um, I've driven it onto this um, bed of plants here. I don't know if you can see it or not but um, in here there are actually some little um, seedlings planted. It's very difficult to see on the camera screen. I'll try to zoom in on the ground in general. I can't see anything on the screen here. But in there are some little, oh there's one I can see it, some little baby um, swede plants. So hopefully the machine will weed in between these plants. I've already done one row uh, there. See that it looks a bit more cleaner than the uh, next row. So I've positioned the core and there, uh, ready for the next um, trial. Unfortunately, I've managed to wreck this motor here by crunching the, um, the wires against the, um, the back there so the y-axis is out of operation but I can still test the machine in the x-axis and the z-axis and the rotation r-axis so it's fine. Let's go. I've rigged up this little control panel here at the front. This is just for the CNC. There's um, five uh, no, four power supplies on the right, supplying 60 volts in, all in parallel. A little slider potentiometer controller, Arduino Mega at the back of it underneath it, and all these um, drivers. So uh, let's turn the, the claw on. Let's see if I can, there it goes. It's rotating. It took a lot of tuning to get this thing working. Zoomed in far too far there. Where is it? Can't see anything on the screen. The sun's so bright. Hopefully, in there somewhere. Oh, there it is. I can see it. There's the claw. Uh, took a lot of setting up, a lot of tuning to get this claw running smoothly without loads of vibration because there's a big, heavy bit of steel on the bottom of it. And there's a bit of um, wobbling in the steel frame there. If I do it that way, you might be able to see it. Or if I go to the side. Well, I can see it, I can't see it on the camera. It's okay, <coughs> that's nothing severe. I think there's just too much weight in the top. Get the plasma cutter and cut out some seriously large holes in that steel plate and that should take the wobbling out. Anyway, let's see if uh, we can bring the mechanism forward. So I'm not going to move the machine, I'm just going to move these little um, saddles here on the x-axis and um, see if the claw it's so bright, the sunshine is so bright, I can't see it very easily at all. Anyway, let's see if I can just... There it goes. There it goes, right. We are actually weeding. That's quite aggressive. And it looks like it's going to smash the leaves of those sweet plants. But, actually, it doesn't. It's, it's actually working really well. Even though it's actually touching the sweet leaves, it's not destroying them. But any weeds that are in that ground there are just going to be completely hammered. It's uh, working really well, I'm really pleased with that. And there's plenty of power on that motor. Look at it go. It's great. Fantastic. We have a weedinator actually doing some weeding. So if I stop this now, I can um, demonstrate the z-axis. Got to be a bit careful because if I bring it too far, the um, claw will interfere with the metalwork. That's the x-axis. This is the um, z. Hopefully, I can find it. There she goes. So I can't go too far because the floor will interfere with the steel work there. Fortunately it's got an optical encoder so I can to position that so that the floor is out of the way. There it goes. I can drive it away now. That test is finished. 